Should we go right to the CAG bag? I have a, a lot. We don't have to do all of these. This is the most Twitter CAG bag responses I've gotten in, in a long time. Are these bots? They're, I don't think they're bots. They must have missed us. Um, mm -hmm. Jay Brad writes in and asks, Wombat, what was the reason that you ended up going on the weight loss injection? Did your doctor just not think you were making enough progress without it? Nutrisystem and Orange Theory look like they've been working to me. Uh, I mean, for the record, I did lose about 25 pounds before the injection. So I'm pretty much like still 50-50 um, pre and post injections. Not that I feel like I need to make excuses for the taking no, the just, injections. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's uh, just wait, wait, asking, yeah. I guess. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't my doctor's suggestion as much as it was, hey, I knew that these things existed and I knew that they would work. And when you were as overweight as I was, you kind of want to lose that weight and get healthy as fast as possible. <laughs> right. And if there's something, you know, if well, there's the a magic. Well, did tell you to basically lose, lose the weight, weight as fast as possible well, and not be as, healthy yeah, in, in yeah, a healthy way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lose the weight or you're going to die. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so, so I'm just reading a great dark in the thread saying, hoping you have diabetes if you're taking that injection. If not, that's messed up. So to clarify to great dark in the section, I take Zetbound, which is not a diabetes medication. It is specifically for weight loss. Ozempic is a diabetes medication. I do not take it. So there you go. I hope you feel stupid for <laughs> hoping that I have diabetes. You fucking moron. Uh, <laughs> kind of says that. Right. I take a weight no, loss no. medication. <laughs> right, right. I so, mean, yeah. Certainly, uh, they yeah. made these. Yeah. Very, so, there's a lot of variations of these drugs. Th there's, a, there's a lot of variations. I take the weight loss injection. I do not take a diabetes injection for my weight loss. I don't think and he was saying that he was hoping that you have diabetes. Like maybe he was. Like I don't know. Or is he wishing? I, I like, mean, is he, he wishing diabetes on he you? Wrote, if you don't hoping have you it? have diabetes. <laughs> so. I'm not sure. Or if you don't have diabetes, I think he's wishing it upon you. For, <laughs> for I, I don't. I don't know. And now he's like, it's, 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 it's kind of dumb. But Instead whatever. of and it's, then he's and then he's accusing here. me of not exercising. Which, yes, but I do exercise. I know. I know you know. Yes, you have to. Mm. If you've been following along at home, Wombat goes to Orange Theory twice a week, and was to even get the medicine, he had to go to a doctor and basically tell the doctor, like, plead your case. Hey, this is what I'm doing. I am going to Orange Theory twice a week where I'm going to burn about a thousand calories each session. And it turned out that the doctor was a member of his orange theory class. He's recognized and in my class? him. He yep. recognized him. Um, but uh, yeah, that's yeah. So yeah. Anyway, obviously, yeah, I'm not, I, not I, I'm, I'm not taking a diabetic medication. I'm not raising the prices of diet. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, he, he, there's like a whole conspiracy that I'm raising the cost of diabetic medications because I'm I'm not taking a diabetic medication. I am just as a preventive measure. Jesus. I like ice cream. I mean, really? I don't take it. <laughs> All right, let's get to another question here. Okay. This guy wants to know, Mace wants to know, why the fuck are you taking this medicine? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he, uh, Christian wants to know, will Wombat play The Legend of Link now that it's back to the classic perspective? There's a chance. I have a Switch. Oh, he went, <laughs> he to, went for Legend of Link too. Look at that. Yeah. I think that's what a lot of people may call it for fun, yeah, for funsies. It is fun. It is fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Whatever. If it comes yeah. across my, my desk. I think it's not only the classic perspective, but it's not the open world playground, yeah. mm -hmm. right? It's like a more this... traditional style, right? Dungeon. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's what Wombat's looking for in a Zelda game. It's not necessarily the perspective; it's just the the framework of the game itself. Yes. Uh, let's see. I haven't really, I got to admit, I haven't really pre-read these questions like I usually do because they were all so many lined up in fucking Twitter. Uh, Mace writes in, he says, will you ride if the next Gears game after EDA doesn't have an even slower version of Mad World? Did they, <laughs> did they, they Mad did? World this? I they did see. Mad World this, yes. They I Mad was, World oh. the trailer, yeah. 
I should have watched. They it. Wanted, Amazing. It's it's exactly what you said, Chip. These games were a very specific specific audience. They knew exactly what they were doing. They're like, oh, we're gonna play a cinematic trailer for the new Gears, and it's gonna be we're gonna play Mad World even slower Re- remix. So and let's make yeah. I if they I mean, definitely I, I appreciate them one, leaning in because slower. like as much as like Nintendo just like keeps recycling stuff why and people not, why keep not? like you ha- this is exactly what you're complaining about like a few weeks back with microsoft right of like you yeah. have all these ips like use them make yeah. games like this is you bought them all for a reason make the things that people want so we want more mad world sure mm-hmm. i do like mad world i did listen to a lot of different versions of mad world after that trailer came out and all the different all youtube did. videos we came out did. around mm-hmm. it it was very good uh what else we got here oh this one's from nick does anyone actually enjoy the long cinematic trailers for new games that show zero gameplay or just a few moments not to overpraise nintendo but at this point their show is all i can tolerate i yeah if it's just a cinematic that's clearly yeah not the xbox the, game, the xbox one it. was a lot of cinematics it was kind of like eh I feel like it's a waste eh, of time. On the cinematics. It's nice to know these games are coming, but it's also nice that, you know, it's nicer when those games are here. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. I would rather like a, just a bunch of snippets of gameplay put together in a trailer version. Cause I, there's a, there's a balance there from like not showing me the whole cinematic thing and not showing me just somebody playing the game for too long. Right. Like, just show totally. me act- action stuff. You can sprinkle in some of the cinematics if you want. If you show me no gameplay, I just assume that the game's not coming out for a long time or it's looking really rough right now. Or both a combination of those two things, which is probably sure. what it is. It's um, that exactly what it is. Yeah. But also, like those those cinematic trailers that they put together, I don't think that those are tre- cheap. I mean, maybe, the, I don't know if the prices have come down over the years, but certainly they were not cheap back in the day. Um, but yeah, of course it's all part of the marketing, but I don't know that do people really fall for those trailers. Do they watch those trailers and be like, think that's what the game is going to be like and drop, put their pre-order down. Like, like what percent of the viewers, I guess enough, <laughs> like, you know, cause they still, they still doing it. Uh, maybe this question is best answered by ship. This is from Jeff. He says, any 360 marketplace games you recommend before the shutdown on July 29th, dark star one is my recommendation. Like the old wing commander games. I remember that game. Dark star one um, and wing commander. I, I mean, I, I would need this, the, the sale list up. Cause I know that a bunch of these games just went on sale for like 85 or 90% off rockstar table tennis. I don't know if that was on the list, was it? I don't know. Um, let me let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. So, you mean some are not available at all? Is that this? Is that the deal? So, uh, no, some of them are still available. But like, there's a difference between like the 360 marketplace and the Xbox Live Store, right? Right. You can only buy the the backwards compatible stuff on the current Xbox Store. Mm-hmm. If you go back to the old marketplace, the 360 marketplace, you can get these other things that are on super clearance but aren't aren't uh aren't all backwards compatible so no you'd have to have stuff. a working 360 to play a no, lot can, of these games yeah to play a, a lot them, you can buy a lot of them on just on the website or whatever mm-hmm. um to buy them uh, yeah let's see here to play them so, you need a 360 <laughs> i mean there's just so there's so many of them um, you can only like, play them on a 360 like who's gonna hook up a 360 to play these games i've got one hooked up we, we okay. were playing some last last week i rest my case Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, it I'm always bothered to... me that that 2D Batman game was never uh, put made backwards compatible. Yeah, you can get that like for like 250 or something right now, right? Yeah, I think um, so. But that's a good game. I like that one. It was like one of the last 360 games. I don't even know that game. Exactly, because I didn't make it. It literally came out like two months before the the X the Xbox One came out, and. Ah. Man, and I, it wasn't I was not backwards prepared compatible. for this question. I'm just like scrolling through trying to find the the gems of the sale. Um, I, I think I there were some Capcom fighting games in there. For there's like definitely some Capcom fa- fighting games. There's like Vampire Survivors, I think, is in there, and that one's real mm-hmm. cheap. And like some of this stuff has not come to other 
other systems. I mean, I have the Capcom Arcade Collection Volume 1 and Volume 2, so I don't think I need to get any of those. So Right. There's a lot of just like the Xbox Live Arcade stuff, like when they were doing all the like the Space Invaders Infinity Gene mm-hmm. stuff, like that stuff's cool. Um and they're also cheap. Like I I don't know, just click around. It's annoying to look at the store because you don't see prices if you go back to the Xbox 360 store. You have to like individually click on oh. the actual like games to see how much they are. Um, so it's not very browser friendly <laughs> friendly to go through there. But I don't know. There's there's good stuff on there, and it's closing down end of July time frame. Yeah, it's July all 29th. gone. All gone. Yep. Sad. It was that was a good era of gaming. It was. Not the shit era that we have now. Exactly. Fortnite fucking killed it. Right. Like there used to be all these games. Right. And now there's all these games. Now everyone's just trying to make the next Fortnite. Yep. I mean, just kidding. Sort of. Sort of. You really. are, but you aren't. I mean, I it's get not it. It's Fortnite's fault. You know what it is? I was thinking about this it's the not, other day. It's, it's not, not Fortnite's fault it's at all. It's these executives who they're, they're a little greedy in their expectations of how easy it is and and i guess ill-informed about how easy it is to make a huge success like this they see a Fortnite and they think oh well if these guys did it we can do it no not really not necessarily lightning doesn't strike twice for anybody you know and just because one company does it doesn't mean you can do it and it doesn't mean that even the company that did it can do it again and so to think that like a game is not successful unless it's a fucking billion dollar franchise is stupid and unsustainable. And that's where we are now. And that's my rant. Thank you. Good job. So it's not Fortnite's fault. It's these executives' fault for thinking that it's easy to, to come up with something like that. Look at Warner Brothers. Exhibit A. <laughs> all right. Any other? I think we, we pretty much, we got pretty much all these. Mm-hmm. questions i think um cheap ass kid writes in on youtube right now he says man listening to you guys since 2005 or something hope you're all okay that's right we started in 2005 and we are not all okay <laughs> we're better than okay look at wombat look at him he's glowing right now well that's just like way too bright of a screen well clearly i'm killing people now so <laughs> i can't you. i don't think i'll be able to sleep tonight Right. Now with all those lights blinking in the background still. <laughs> the I cops. know, they didn't shut off. That's the diabetes police. They're outside to arrest Wombat <laughs> for, for taking their meds. Jesus. Yeah, man, I was upset about the 13th Amendment documentary, but now I'm just upset about Wombat hurting all these people. It's, it's fair. I'm, hurt, I'm <laughs> single-handedly hurting all these people. <sighs> oh, man. All right. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Don't take, you don't take that personally, that guy writing in. Right? Oh, well, just, no, come on. That was a little like, bit. It's nice. okay. No, no, no. You, you, t- you okay. put that guy in his place. That's a... Especially since you have the podcast and he doesn't. And no That's one can fair. hear his voice. No. <laughs> Crying into his, <laughs> into his milk. Into his milk with no sugar cereal in it. Exactly. He's eating fucking like uh, Cheerios. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't even know. Like Diabetic people eat sugar still, right? They just... I don't, I don't know. I should know. Since you're stealing their medicine, you should know. Since I'm stealing, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. 